there. This is Pepperman, and welcome to Pepperman Scammers. Now, this particular video contains a lot of adult content, explicit language. I drop a lot of F-bombs and fuck you if the ass bombs, and things like that. But let me set this story up for you. Um, if the kids are out of the room, I'm going to tell you about it. I work in a rather large retail uh, supermarket grocery store, uh, and we close at 10 p.m. every single day, seven days a week, except on you know Thanksgiving or Christmas we're closed, but uh, or Easter we're closed. Promptly at 10 p.m. Now there's this individual, this woman that we call the coupon lady, that likes to walk in there right about five till ten, and uh, you know normally it's on a Wednesday. Uh, the same day that our ad ends for that week and at 10 o'clock we'd like to go ahead and pull those signs down and get set up for the next morning the next ad that's coming up for the um, upcoming week which starts the following morning 7 a.m. anyway she comes into the store with all her boo hoo boo hoo fucking bullshit what's on sale I don't see any signs She's trying to scam us, first of all, and she wants to try to collect on this week's ad and next week's ad. She's walking around with two flyers on her cart, and she's in a hurry. She wants to get out. Now, to me, my badge doesn't say idiot, moron, or stupid on it. This woman knows that I know what she's doing. You know, I followed around the store one time. The manager's running up and down the aisle because the signs were down. She's walking around all confused and doesn't know what she's looking for. And, oh, my God, I don't know what's on sale. What's going to be on sale? I don't have time. I'm in a hurry. I'm blah, 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 blah. So I walk up there with my little black apron on and a little small video camera, a surveillance camera, and talking to her as we're helping her find what she fucking needs. And uh, in the meantime, you know, this is a 54,000 square foot building. The store is closed. It's 10 p.m. And after, and we're accommodating this common scammer and thief. Anyway, she looks at my thing and says, what, is that a camera? I said, yes, ma'am, it is. It's actually a high-definition video camera with audio. Because, well, I don't know. I don't want to be. I said, well, when you walked in the fucking store, there was a big sign up there that said you were under surveillance at all times in this store. And, you know, actually, I'm trying to build a case on your stupid fucking ass. And um, this is how we do it. I'm sorry. You knew when you walked in. <laughs> to be honest with you, this woman, she doesn't even fuck with me in my department. She comes to my department with her fucking boo-hoo bullshit. You know what I do? I take her over to the side. I take her fucking iPhone 4 out of her hand and throw it onto the ground and bend her ass over an end cap which might have like soft peaches and nectarines. I take the palm of my hand, put it on the back of her head and I push it down and pull her pants down and I stick my dick up her fucking asshole. No easy stuff. No, no, no get me excited about the project. No be gentle. It's like Rama Jamma. Papa's gonna make a jingle baby. And pull your pants up and get the fuck out of my department. And, you know, it, that worked pretty much. I mean, she wouldn't come into my area and mess with me so much. And after that happened a couple of times, she started just coming into my department. I think it kind of backfired on me. It backfired. She came into my department, and then now she just comes there. Doesn't care what the fucking prices are. She just goes right to the end cap and bends over. I'm actually kind of tired of, of, of ramming that thing because I think I pretty much destroyed her sphincter and I'm sure her bowel movements are very smooth and easy. So now I just go and pick up a fucking 12 inch cucumber about that big around. That big around. Yeah. And she's like, salad again tonight, honey? Yeah, salad again tonight. Anyway, she doesn't really mess with me in my department. She likes to move around the store and, and you know, I don't know, maybe a manager needs to greet her at the door and say, look, we close in five minutes, we got people that want to go home, you need to be done in ten minutes and get out. I understand there are times when people show up at the store late, but those kind of people know they're late and they're rushing and they're running to get what they need to get just to get out. Not to hold us up in a store for two hours 
and then go up front and say you're in a hurry and break out 75 coupons. Will you take this? No. Will you take that? No. Will you take this? No. Will you take this? Okay, yeah. Will you take this? No. And then, wanting to go back outside, now it's already like 11.15, to a brand new gold Escalade parked out front to find more coupons. Take your coupons and your iPhone and your Escalade and stick it up your ass. Because we don't need your business. If it was my store, I'd say, get the fuck out of my store right now. I don't want you around. What's she going to do? Oh, no, we don't want to do that at our store. She's going to tell everybody that we were mean to her. We wouldn't give her rain checks. We wouldn't do... You know what? If the truth really came out, what kind of person really walks into the store five minutes before they close and try to wreak havoc on the people that just want to go home? They want to do their job and go home. They've done their job. It only takes one idiot to ruin the show. I think this woman actually probably gets off a plane in Jacksonville International every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. promptly, gets in her Escalade, and speeds all the way to Nocatee just to see how much misery she can put us through. But you know what? I called your game. I know what you're doing. She knows that I know what she's doing. Anyway, that's just my opinion. No names. No company names. I just don't like bullshit. You know, take your iPhone, your Escalade, and all that shit, and just go bother someone else, man, and leave us alone. This is the Pepperman.